Hey guys, Miss Delito here. Let's do a quick crash course in determining which scale drawing is going to be bigger. So we're going to take a look at two scales. The first one is one centimeter to four feet. The second one is one centimeter to two feet. So which scale drawing is going to be bigger? So let's think about what these scales mean. Scale number one means that one centimeter on the scale drawing is going to represent four feet in real life. On scale number two, one centimeter is going on the drawing is going to represent two feet in real life. So when we look at these scales, we know that in this case, we need two centimeters to represent four feet in real life. So we would need twice as many centimeters to represent four feet in this scale drawing. So we would need to have our scale drawing be twice as big. If you want to visualize this a little more, we can pull out a ruler and actually look at those distances. So for example, here is one centimeter and here is one centimeter. So both of these are one centimeter distances. In the first scale drawing, this is representing four feet. In the second scale drawing, we need two of these centimeters to also represent four feet. So we can tell again that that second scale drawing would have to be bigger. We can also look at this in the reverse situation. So in this case, which scale drawing is bigger? That first scale, one centimeter to six feet, or the second scale, one centimeter to 12 feet. So in this case, we know that we need one centimeter to represent six feet. In that second scale drawing, we would need to divide this by two to get to that six feet. So we'd also have to divide this by two. So we would have 0 0.5 centimeters to six feet. So in this case, we would need half as many centimeters to get to the same distance on the original scale drawing. So the second scale should be half as big. Therefore, scale number one is bigger than scale number two.